hi guys welcome to another video and welcome to what's in my bag video i know you like them but i was not planning on filming any of them today um and as soon as i started doing the changeover from this beautiful bag here to that one over there i said why not try to film it and share with you um the changing of the bag what i have in this one over here which was full as you can see and so i set up my camera and i started filming um because i love these videos as much as you like them so um this is the bag i have been using i think for the past three weeks most probably or more because um, nowadays i do not change my bag um, a lot um, and i try to keep up with uh, some of the bags that i have which are more expensive than others um, just because i like them more to be honest with you but um, today I wanted to change to a bag that I have had I think for years and um, I was not using for quite some time which is this one here I think it's more than two years that I have not been using it by the way this is how I keep uh, and I store all the bags in these plastic bags over here um, and I have also prepared this charm here that I have purchased from Aldo I think it was three years ago and I barely used it again so I said um, the charm which is in white with the black and white bag it will be beautiful so um, this is the bag it's full I'm gonna show you what's inside and then I am going to take you through uh, placing all the things in this bag into the other one let me move a bit these to the other side and this is pretty much what's inside the bag as you can see um, this is a beautiful bag it's I think the color I should call it antique rose it's from gas I purchased it probably in 2020 I have used it a bit and it was at the time when I was carrying still the planners with me um, if I do put the planner in here I will not be able to uh, use this bag because my planner is big even if it is um, a personal size one um, in order to fit all these things that you are seeing here um, I would not uh, be able to fit also the planner so it's either the planner or the things that I have here and uh, for some time I have not been carrying uh, the planner with me anymore um, so I downsized a little bit on the stuff uh, that I used to carry with me by the way, a little disclaimer, if you uh, hear a couple of noises, it's because um, I'm in the new house and there's this street um, that is full of traffic at the moment, but I tried uh, shutting down as much as I could of the noises, but not everything can be um, closed off. So going back to the bag, um, I'm gonna take you through it. And as you can see here, I have a lot of stuff still this is the wallet I am currently um, using I have been using it since last November when I purchased it it's a Michael Kors wallet I am very happy with it I have other wallets like it but the texture and the design of this wallet is something that I love and I do not think I will be um, changing it very soon but um, as I said, it's a beautiful one. I have purchased it together with a bag. Um, I have that what's in my bag on my channel. I have a video about it and I bought it from Sicily. This one was quite discounted, but um, I wanted it. I have seen it on the website and the moment I was there, I purchased it. Now, what do I have more in here? I have a hair clip, which never, ever um, is missed from any of my bags then I have this pouch over here which is a pink currently is uh, empty unicorn type of pouch I have had it for a long time now um, I keep this um, and I said it um, in many videos just to put jewelry when I get annoyed by it and instead of throwing it in the bag and God knows where it ends um, I always keep this one so I can put uh, the jewelry in it 
Next thing is my favorite pen. Then I have this tissue pouch. I used to have another one, but I lost it. I went for a visit in hospital and I think I left it in one of the restrooms. So I had to do another one. These are tissues and these are some sanitary towels. And what else do I have? I have this pouch over here, which is, um, it does have all my meds, as you can see, some uh, Elastoplast and some other feminine products. Um, I will never leave the house without this pouch, even if I downsize even further from this bag, um, sort of Saturday evenings or um, dinners, something like that, if I have to go, with a bag smaller than this, this pouch will always be with me because I cannot go out without my medicines. Um, I suffer from migraines. So I cannot stay with without something that can help me because these are quite severe ones when they hit. Um, this is a pouch where I keep my masks. Um, I know we are not using them anymore, but when you visit clinics and hospitals, um, you are still um, obliged to wear them for obvious health reasons. And last time I was in hospital with my dad, um, he had a visit. Um, I uh, did not have these with me and we had to purchase them in order to get in. So I put it back um, in the bag because um, on previous occasions, I would just put this pouch before the medical visit, but um, since I forgot it, I decided to put it back um, in the bag so that I will never ever forget it again. Now, what else? I have a foldable bag from IKEA. Um, this is very good and it was very, very useful. This is my phone pouch and here I have quite a lot of stuff in it but I have shown what I have um, cords as you can see headphones some um, glass wipes glasses wipes I think they are um, because I clean my phone with it um, this is a battery pack and I usually have other cords but my phone is charging what else oh here what do I have here I have some um, lip products and some other things that came back into the bag. This is my last lipstick. It's from Morphe um, from the last time I had makeup on and this came back to travel with me and to come with me to a lot of places because we're buying things for the house and again it got back in my bag because it's very uh, good to have with you when you are going around and you may not be uh, thinking about buying anything but you happen to go to a shop see something and you know what happens so this is from zara home and this is a measuring tape i think i have had this for four or five years now and this is my favorite uh, lip therapy it's a lip balm i have used it quite a lot it's from Vaseline and I think, I don't know whether there is what uh, flavor it is. No, I'm not seeing it, but this is the one and I should have another one um, in somewhere in this bag. So, oh, I have my rosary. I always keep it with me um, because it has a specific meaning to me. Um, someone very special gave it to me actually. Um, these are my sunglasses and currently I have my sunglasses from Aldo. They are um, big sunglasses because I like oversized sunglasses. And this is not the original pack. It's just a plastic bag that I use and then I put it also in this uh, pouch over here. I have my prescription glasses which sometimes they don't come with me i have a calm what else do i have oh i have this pouch this pouch i think i have shown it also in the other what's in my bag video that i have filmed some time ago in this pouch i have the residues i like to call them of uh, the previous makeup pouch that i used to carry with me and all the other things that uh, were part of other pouches but then when 
I was downsizing, I just took the essentials and I just put them in this pouch over here. As I said, this is the other one from the Vaseline Lip Therapy. Um, and I have my favorite perfume, which is the Good Girl from Carolina Herrera. Then I have a lip gloss. I have some hair bands. I have the mirror. Is it a Hello Kitty mirror? I don't know. Um, I have a foldable bag. I have another comb. I have a an antibacterial uh, spray here and then I have my favorite hairspray which is in the travel size let me try and grab it because the moment you move something from this pouch you have to put it back together um, this is the L'Oreal Elnet and I have to show you something which is absolutely my favorite this is my absolute absolute favorite which is the stay matte from Rimmel this is as I said and I like to call it miraculous when you have makeup because it practically um, amends all the problems with the makeup now let me just try and put everything back in this pouch because we have to place it back in the bag that we are moving to and let me try and put everything back uh, hopefully I manage because it happens that when I'm on camera I hardly manage to do the things I usually do without any problems when I am not. I don't know why, but my lip therapy, oh, I managed. You see, it happened. Now, last thing, um, before I move to the other zip compartments, I have this pouch here. I call it the walk-in pharmacy, and I have videos about it this never changes things in here never change there is a lot of feminine products um my spare key to the car you never know when you need it um this is intimate wipes makeup wipes sanitary towels some nail um rescue stuff like scissors um i have another hand sanitizer again this is a double one and i have a couple of other things and another lip balm um a travel toothbrush and toothpaste because you never know when you need them and that's it for this bag as you can see it's very very spacious i love this bag for that reason but specifically for the color and for the quilted um, type of design and here i have probably and i know what's in here um these are more sanitary towels yeah i do carry a lot of them with me but the last compartment is this one here and over here i just keep uh, my uh intimate wipes they are baby wipes water wipes whatever they are for intimate reasons these are very very good i have some plastic bags these are usually used um for sanitary towels and these are my wet hankies antibacterial wipes you have seen them many many times now this is it for the bag i was using and let's do the change over i am going to put um, everything where you can see it through the camera and then um, open the other bag and um, start putting things together so this is the bag as i said i removed the plastic um covering plastic bag that i had um it's another spacious bag i think it was the first uh some of the first bags that i have purchased from ebay and as you can see there it's very spacious um but since it has been um in storage for quite some time i think it still needs to take um its uh, shape again um i cannot afford to keep bag shapers in every bag because um, I would end up needing a football ground for all the bags that I have. At least that's how my mom tells me. Anyways, let's just put this there. Um, the first thing I always put in a bag when I change is my walk-in pharmacy because it's the first thing which is um, important to me and the, the most bulky Thing I will be having actually I am going to change the bag and just put it hope you can see it 
well over there then it's this pouch because it's another thing which is a little bit bulky let's put it over there um then the masks pouch which is going to go at the back and then i need first to put this one which needs to be standing and what else um the tissue pouch and the medicines pouch um obviously even though i'm placing them um in the bag i don't i won't be keeping it for sure like this because it depends on how i will feel when i use the bag because if something just hurts my back or the side um of my hip or my hip um i will basically need to change some things over my foldable bags are one of the most important things so i'm gonna be putting it on the side this is what i'm doing so far and prescription glasses over here what else what else um okay these are things which need to be accessible let me see whether i can put them in here hopefully no the large wipes um cannot stay so i'm gonna have to be placing something else the comb yes it stays over there the plastic sanitary towels bag um it will still be able to stay over there i have the pen and let me try and place the wipes um at the front of the bag this one is going in one of the front pockets um the lip balm and the lipstick are going in uh, the other front pouch i'm trying to move the bag so maybe you can see what i'm doing but i don't know whether you can see it well um the measuring tape in one of the front pouches then the wallet which goes on top of the um walk-in pharmacy as you can see i put it like that and the last thing oh my rosary beads um praying beads whatever um the clip will be going i think somewhere over here and then the last thing is going to be attaching the this charm over here i'm gonna try and put it like this let me see whether it says okay and yeah it's nice as you can see there this is how the bag is and i do have a lot of more space as you can see for the car keys and the other stuff so i think that the bag is okay um it's filled but there's still space and this is why i love having spacious bags and i'm thinking about buying one which i have been gravitating around for a lot of months to be honest with you but i'm still thinking and rethinking on whether i uh, want to buy it but if i buy it i will for sure be sharing the unboxing with you and also the um what's in my bag videos etc so i hope you have liked this impromptu video um about changing the bags and the what's in my bag um again i'm very happy about this so um yes it's 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 one of the favorite bags that i had for a very long time but then unfortunately it also got a little bit replaced by others as i went along and i purchased more bags so hope you have liked it hope you will be coming for more and until the next one bye